and put the parallel lines this way, mm -hmm. you can do that as well. This way it reminds me of like a honeycomb pattern. Whenever you tell me that something is a little bit less popular, I tend to prefer that. But I think for this transition, I think going with the <laughs> transition against the wood flooring is going to just flow better. I think it's subtle enough that it's not something that that is going to get sick of because it's not some crazy pattern or crazy what? color. It looks so good. Yeah, what? <laughs> Beth and Ryan's living room really needs a wow moment, and I really want the fireplace to be it. Yeah, you can see that well from pretty much the whole part. <laughs> My vision is doing some kind of stone for the fireplace all the way up to the ceiling, and then I wanted a strip at an angle <laughs> coming down from either side. Or <laughs> The ship left mm -hmm. and left. Yeah. You want the angles so the ship left and goes up and up. Yeah. Perfect. I because I want it to be a big <laughs> contrast. I'm really feeling Dang really on all about because I like the light Hello. front. Let me take a step back. Mm -hmm. With the light grout. For sure. I mean it's gonna be exactly what Kath and Ryan want to do, but maybe are a little bit hesitant to do it. It really is about finding that balance. You wanna go bold, but really where's the line of going too bold? We ain't scared. <laughs> wow, this is looking cool. Chelsea ship lab. Can I help you? Absolutely. Obviously, Spider. the chef lab, what takes us to the fabulous level is that when you start at a table, it's black, it just is more elegant. I like the little makeup after these because it makes it nice and clean. Once the stone is on the fireplace and these get painted black, it's gonna be a moment. Sweet.